so we saw that basically controllability and observability are important aspect for testability okay so able ability to control a node so it can have a specific value is important and ability to then observe that on primary output is very both of these are important to test so what is done to ensure that is you add additional circuitry that is very little to do with the functionality of the design but it improves the controllability and observability of the design and that is known as dft or design for testability so you're designing your design in such a way to improve your controllability and observability of the design and you, for doing that you add additional circuitry in the design okay. this will then reduce your atpg effort improve test quality reduce cost reduce time to market how it is done is let's understand okay. so what you are doing is first one of the most important method how you do this is by doing scan chains okay. what you do is you will add additional circuitry by which you can make nodes controllable and observable okay and one of the ways which by which it is done is by doing scan chains okay what is a scan chain is in a scan chain you connect all your flocks in the design so that there is a way for them to connect to primary input and primary output if you are able to do that then basically you can pass in the values you want let's say you want to pass one you can pass one here so basically every flop in the design it becomes a controllable flop and also becomes an observable flop because they are connected in a chain whatever value you pass here after one cycle it will appear here next cycle it will appear here next cycle it will appear here so this causes all of your flops which are working on clocks to become controllable all your flops to make it observable so so basically you have improved your testability by a huge amount because earlier just primary input and primary outputs were controllable or observable but by introducing scan chains you have made each and every flop in the design or or flops which are connected to scan chain observable and controllable so how do you do it let's understand so you create to modify every flop and change it into a scan flop what is known as scan flop how you do that is this is your default flop you add a mux in front of it okay and add a scan enable pin which basically will control whether this flop becomes controllable or observable so when scan enable is one it will take the data input not from the functionality of the design but from the scan chain input when scan enable is zero it will take the normal logic input okay now what you can do is you can put all these flops in a chain and let's say when you say scan enable to be one and you connect it to the primary input or output when scan enable is one whatever value you pass on here it will go to next flop go to next flop after each cycle and you can basically put whatever value you want to put on each of these flops so all of these flops are become controllable and observable normal when scan enable is zero the logic will behave normally okay so basically whatever flops were connected to whatever flops scan chain is just separate logic which is additionally done but when scan enable is zero your logic will behave normally as it was behaving before the in introduction of this flop but when scan enable is one they will become part of one big chain and basically you can control or observe you can have more than one scan chain in the design depends upon uh, how fast you want to do testability so scan flip flops creating this structure adding this additional logic allows us to make all the flops in the design controllable and observable and that's why this technique is very heavily used because it becomes 
uh, brings DFT and testability to a great magnitude of uh, easy, make it really easy for everyone DFT tool and improves your this testability of the design. So what you do is every flop in the, to create a scan chain, every flop in the design is replaced by a scan flop. So this was your normal flop, it is replaced by a scan flop to replace by a scan flop. So they are still connected to your normal functionality. This flop was connected to OR gate and get all this is that normal functionality is still retained but what happens is when scan enable is one they become part of one big scan chain okay and this is primary input this is primary input so when you scan enable becomes one rather than taking values from the normal logic input they start taking values from a serial chain which is connected to primary input or output when scan enable is zero then normal logic operates as in this part is not taken input, but here it is taken as input because of the marks. 